Okay, now I want to demonstrate this new tool in MATLAB. It'll just take a minute. So I have a set of T data and a set of Y data. It's the same stuff we were looking at before. If I plot that, with points it looks like this okay so we've got a few data points here um, y versus x and we want to fit this to a straight line now to do this um, with the new tool you can certainly use polyfit and polyval but to do it with a new tool you go up here in the figure window to tools basic fitting and it brings up this little window Okay, so um, in here you have several choices, spline fits, all that sort of stuff. There's a linear fit here. If I press that, it just automatically plots a straight line through those data points. All right, if I want to see the equations, I click here on show equations and I get y is 1.2x plus 7.2. If I need more significant digits, I can get that. Okay, so here's a straight line fit through this data and you see it's a... It's a decent fit, nothing special. I can add a quadratic to that. And you can see the blue line here is nearly on top of the straight line, so there's not much help to us here uh, by adding a quadratic, and which indicates that the, the data in itself is actually fairly linear. I can add a cubic. Okay, and again, there's very little variation, so a straight line fit is as good as any of these here. Now, at some point, we can add fourth degree, fifth degree. You can see the fourth the fourth degree uh, gives me this wiggly line um, because there's only f you know five data points and so fourth degree and fifth degree polynomials don't make much sense. Fourth degree would fit exactly through every point so it's not a least squares fit at all. It's a it's a um, it's it's an equation for the polynomial that goes exactly through those points. And fifth degree doesn't make any sense because we've only got five data points and it just doesn't make sense to have six constants for five data points. Okay. Um, you can plot the residuals next to those. So the residuals are the squares of the errors. You can see the biggest error is associated with this point here, right here. Um, Sometimes that's useful. Uh, we can have, you know, a scatter plot for that if we prefer. So here, these data points represent the residuals. I can get rid of that. There are some other windows here. I can click this arrow at the bottom. This shows me the polynomial with the coefficients and the norm of the residuals. That is this f we've been talking about before. And then at the, in this last. Uh, window we can evaluate the function so we can put in something like 3.32 evaluate it and this will evaluate the straight line fit at x equals 3.32 and give you f that from the model okay um, and you can even plot that data point on the plot if you so desire now it put that at 3.3 it put in what we get um, for the model okay So that's basically how this works. It's a pretty nice tool for doing curve fitting uh, if you need polynomials. Otherwise, you can use Linest or um, Polyfit, or you could even do the nonlinear stuff in MATLAB if you want. All right, so that's all.